Hello and welcome back to the Amateur Radio DMR Programming Channel. I'm Mike K0NGA, and this will be the first video in a series about how to set up your radio in a hotspot to get going on the internet. This was prompted by the release of the new Shark OF Open Spot 2. Uh, but I have noted uh, several times with folks talking about this as a certain things that uh, aren't quite clear in getting this set up. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about today is the frequency. So something that people don't realize is that the hotspot does come set up on a default frequency, but this is may or may not and probably will not be uh, the frequency you should use for your hotspot. Now, I, uh, every hotspot is different. Uh, I tend to talk about the open spot, but these concepts will apply to other hotspots as well. Uh, the easiest way to get the hotspot up and running is to use a simplex frequency. Some of the hotspots do support a split frequency, but for hotspot use, it's really not necessary to go there. So you need to choose a simplex frequency to use. Now, how do you go about determining what frequency you should use? And the answer to that question is, that depends on what state you're, t you're in. Each state has a frequency coordination council or organization or whatnot. I live in Colorado, and in Colorado, as you can see here, we have the Colorado Council of Amateur Radio Clubs Incorporated, which is our frequency uh, coordination body. Now, each one of these organizations will typically publish a band plan or a band use plan. Some don't, some do. Uh, generally speaking, from my observation, it depends on how densely populated the urban areas are with repeaters. So the more repeaters and the more users you have in a population, the, more, the higher the chance that you're going to have a frequency use band plan in your state. And of course, in Colorado, we do. So you can see here, uh, there is a whole section on frequency use plans. And for each band, there is a frequency use plan. So for the hot spot and for the open spot in particular, we're on UHF. So we want to go to the 420 to 450 Colorado plan, which is now in revision D. And you can see here, they have everything laid out very nice in this particular uh, band plan. And they have some the, th the sections built out here. But very, very quickly on the right side, you can see they have some FN voice simplex frequencies. And here's the one that I think is most appropriate to use with your hotspot. And that's the narrow band digital voice simplex frequencies. So we are using DMR, which is digital. We're using voice communication, and it is narrow band because every pretty much everything in DMR is narrow band. So right away, we have a list of frequencies here. We have two, four, six, eight, nine frequencies set aside that we can choose from very quickly to use for our hotspot. And there is a note here, these channels are shared usage and not coordinated by the CCARC. That is a good thing, again, because the hotspot is a very, very short range use type of device. So these frequencies would be perfect. So what you would do then is look for this in your state's uh, frequency uh, use plan or band plan. Uh, you're looking for narrow band digital voice simplex. And in that list or in that range, choose a frequency to use for your hotspot. And when you set up your hotspot, uh, set your hotspot to that frequency. Uh, just as a personal note, and again, this isn't a recommendation, just for your information, I have a hotspot for DMR, and I have another hotspot for D-Star, and I use 446-2125 here in Colorado for my hotspot for DMR, and I use 446-2875 for my hotspot for D-Star. But again, this will depend on your state, so go to your state's coordinating body. You can find that by uh, typing in the search engine, uh, your state, for example, for me, would be Colorado, Colorado Amateur Radio Frequency Coordination. And it should come up with this link to your particular coordination body if you don't know who that is already. Go to the website, look for the frequency use plans, and look for a frequency on the narrowband digital voice simplex list. So that'll be it for this first video in this series. The next video in the series, we will talk about how to set up your radio correctly for a channel for your hotspot. We want to do that first so that when we set up our hotspot, we can immediately hear things coming from our hotspot. So until next time, have a great day.